for animation, you said you had two as well. I uh, know I did not. That's the one I did not do though. But well, I'll just go ahead and put again. Okay, so by Yui for Full Metal Alchemist because you, that that up. one's such a good. It's good. It's it's more of like I can't remember, but yeah. When you start talking about it, like I do remember that. Yeah, um, some of them stand out. Um, I'm not gonna. Uh, lie. I've got two Fire Force points on here. See, in the Fire Force one was really good. Yeah. So um, there was oddly and like. I, there were about four Fire Force ones that I was like, oh, this would actually be pretty good to add here. So I guess most all the Fire Force ones. But I was like, there's, I can't put all of them on here. And I, there's something else I want to put on there too. But I think Inferno by Miss Green Apple, which I think is Fire Force's first or second OP. I think so. Visually speaking is great because it it's self-contained. It is its own mission. They don't, like, they do a couple of cuts away. But it's very fluid. It's very contiguous. It's the heavy one, right? Uh, maybe. I honestly I can't, remember. can't remember. Uh, like it. I get that one spark again, and there's another one I can't remember that starts with a G. That like I get them confused for which one in terms of music. Um, but yeah, it's just like they don't do cuts to anything from the animation. It's all just like original animation for this See, intro. And I'm that's like, that's what I like oh, in an yes. intro. Yeah, I don't want to see cuts in from the show i want to see original animation for the intro yeah and it feels like it's its own mission and it doesn't like because there's kind of the meme of anime having like really poppy upbeat intro that doesn't match some arcs so it's like where oh your hero is about to die <laughs> upbeat intro hero dying um <laughs> this one kind of it kind of alleviates that a little bit like the music is very upbeat but like the animation itself being like hey they're fighting this monster you see them kind of get beat up a little bit flows to any point in a fight so it does kind of work in that way um in terms of a non-fire force wood though uh, i actually picked the uh, it's paradise by rude alpha from skate the infinite uh, it does a lot of really cool interesting visual stuff it does cut away to like anime stills and some like character cards and stuff here and there um but it does a really good job of selling the vibe of the show without using the show um which is pretty good uh and it's kind of i guess a side note uh spark again by aimer which is i think season two fire force's first intro also a banger it does more of the anime cutaway stuff but it does uh, use a lot of original animation for another fight. So they were like, oh yeah, the, the first OP did really well for this. We're going to do another one. And uh, yeah, they're good. They're The other Fire Force fight I'm thinking about, or Fire Force OP, they do this weird thing where the fire is much more of a red um, that doesn't carry over into the anime. I don't remember. I don't think it does. Which was weird. It's just a kind of a stylistic choice, but it does stand out that way. But it also uses a lot of uh, anime cut-ins where there's no fire, so it's like, okay. Um, but it all the fire it reminds me of Tamaki's fire because it's a lot more red than it is orange or yellow. Uh, but, I mean, it's still cool looking. Like, yeah, th that is something that, like, the Demon Slayer intros, I don't think, utilize as much um, with their breathing techniques as Fire Force is just like, we got fire. Everyone loves fire. Let's go. And, yeah, it's good. I think if we're going, like, in terms of, like, a full-ass series having the best animation for OPs, it's 100% sure Fire Force. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's another series out there that currently has OPs from just purely a visually perspective that does better. Um, in terms of the songs, though, do you have two picked out for, like, your songs? Classics? Yeah, or no, no, just well, the music itself, just the songs, not classics necessarily. Oh, uh, well, I have I have some honorable mentions. Okay. Um, and I know it's, it's you might have heard it in anything, but it's like Ultimate Battle. Um, I forgot. It's from Dragon Ball Super. It's like near the end of the tournament. Huh. Um, it's when Goku's like going Ultra Instinct and he's fighting Jiren. Mm -hmm. Uh can't remember who it was by <laughs> <laughs> but uh i think uh let me look up uh, akira kushida i think okay 
anyway, that one's just fucking all up in your face. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a banger. Um, I like that one a lot. So that one's always gotten to me. Um, uh, was another one I had in my brain. Uh, oh, obviously, honorable mention, Skeleton Knight in Another World. <laughs> Hell yeah, I, was, I was about to say that I was Hell like, yeah. is he going to bring it up? Is he going to do Why it? is that one so good? It, like, it is by far, I think, this season's, like, standout OP song. Yeah. Because it stands out so much from, like, the, like, not that the anime is bad or anything, but it's, like, that is it's just, a, like, it's a, like a really new good anime. song. Yeah. So it's, like, oh, <laughs> you didn't have to go off like that, but, you know. You do you, man. <laughs> Skelly Knight goes hard. Skelly Knight goes super hard. Um, um, uh, Veracity by Myth and Royd. They do uh, Overlord's first season intro. Okay. Um, I like that one. Yeah. That one. That one can definitely be um, in my visual style. Um, I really like the way that one's animated. It's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Um, Overlord's also got a lot of really good OPs as well. Uh, for classics, I know we might have the same one. Uh, okay. I, that's why I picked two. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I'll blast through my music ones and we'll get to classics yeah. then. Uh, honestly, any of the Kaguya-sama OPs, but particularly Daddy Daddy Do is the first one, and it fucking slaps. Like, th it's the same group that has done all of them, so they have a very similar style. But, yeah, it's kind of this upbeat semi jazzy type thing it's just really it's, a lot, it's really fun it's a lot it's a fun bop you will um much in the same way that Bradio's flyers from death parade that song almost does not match that fucking series at all but god damn is it fun to listen to like that song has ended up on multiple failed workout playlists <laughs> it's good it's hyping but then you're like okay i've been too hyped i can't i can't i got that no no too much hype um yeah those are just fucking slap so hard but for classics i think i know which one you're, you're talking about what, what 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 is it a cruel angels thesis god damn right it is hell yeah cruel angels thesis one of the most iconic like anime pieces of music to i think ever it exist. might be like the iconic yeah i mean because <laughs> you have fucking gospels to doing cruel angels <laughs> thesis like Okay, you've permeated some cultures there, but like you've done it. Like you've even had like I think the uh, JSDF's band, like their mm -hmm. Navy and Air or Army bands, do it. Do it. <laughs> it's like that one kind of makes sense. It's still kind of a stretch that it's like holy shit, this is here. But yeah, when you have like people in North American choirs going to choir contests singing yeah. Cruel Angels thesis, you're like, I think you guys are missing the point, but I appreciate the energy. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, Cruel Angel's Thesis by Yoko Tana, uh, Takahashi is uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion's uh, their only theme. Yeah. yeah, it, <laughs> It's their only opener. Yeah, you didn't get the second one because yeah. it slapped. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> they also were spending a lot more of their budget on stuff, so it's, it's fine. Uh, what was their, their outro? Was what? Fly Me to the Moon? Yeah, the that's moon. also yeah. a fucking bang. Like when we that's do good. outros, Hell yeah. you best believe Fly Me to the Moon's going <laughs> on, be there. on there. <laughs> Cause that yeah. fucking slaps. Oh, it's like, so good. It's it's so good. It's one of those ones that just gets stuck in your head. Yeah, like yeah. that one. Since it, it's there are a few instances where I think some anime will do this, um, but it's really expensive licensing wise uh, to get the actual song. But I think that mm -hmm. like them doing their own version makes a lot more sense. But that version. And the original, like, Frank Sinatra version are play for play about the same for me at this point. I'm like, because it, it's a cyclical thing. It's a cycle. If, like, oh, I yeah. listen to that one, I'm like, man, this is good. I want to listen to the Frank Sinatra one. And you listen to that, and you're like, man, I want to listen to the Abel one. And then it's just <laughs> never ending. Uh, it, God, it's so good. Yeah. So what was your backup then? <laughs> uh, Technically, there's two. Oh, okay, so what, what two backups I, I did picked, you have? I picked, I picked two because because Sebi was going to be with us today. Mm, uh, true, true. Obviously, obviously the other one, the other backup I have, um, is Tank. Hell yeah! From Cowboy Bebop, that one's just iconic. Yep, it's just, just the great, great fucking jazz opening. This just, I mean, what better can you do? 
Yeah, you. I mean, if anyone outside of maybe Cruel Angel's thesis, which maybe is a little deeper, but if anyone I is going to be like, this is anime music, or that may be the pinnacle of anime music, it's probably Tank or one of the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack songs. Uh, I mean, they even kept it for the Netflix adaptation. Yeah, because it's really fucking good. <laughs> it's really good. Um, I had that one. Um, and then I had, like, m- mine. It's like, if I had to pick, it would be Cruel Angel's Thesis. I'm going to listen to that after we're done recording. <laughs> Damn right but, you are. <laughs> but I knew that it, I wasn't going to be the only one. So my, so my second uh, uh, classic would be... Uh, just communication by two mix which is gundam wings intro god damn you that was gonna be my second backup is it really (laughs) yeah i mean i I have another one that is unique out of those but like i was thinking i was like i kind of feel bad for not putting it on there so i put it on there as a backup i did not put it on there it's in my spotify playlist yeah like (laughs) it was my ringtone for like five years yeah you want to talk about a gundam song that has permeated that is hell yeah like that in maybe one of the Gundam Double o- OPs, but that one mm. for sure. Like someone even hums that. <laughs> Most people in our age range are gonna be like, "That sounds really familiar," and you're like, "There's a reason why, it's, bud." Because <laughs> you saw it on Toonami, that's why. Damn right it is. That. Do you see they're doing the side. 25th anniversary? Yeah. So they're airing a remastered Gundam Wing on Toonami right now. Hell yeah. If so, you guys have cable still, watch If anyone know. watches cable, which I don't, yeah, you can either. watch Gundam Wing. I mean, you can find the remastered. Yeah, I mean, they're just pulling the remastered one that's already been done. So yeah. Like, it's, like, they didn't remaster it just for Toonami, but. Yeah, no, they're just re-airing it, which, I mean, you know, it's good. Hell yeah. Like, yeah. Watch watch that 25 or is it 24? Oh, uh. Episodes. I mean, if they're doing the full thing, I think it's like 48. 49. Oh yeah, forty-eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a full. Fair. I think it's forty. I think it is forty-eight. I don't. I don't. It it's one of those. 49. It gets almost to fifty. I don't think it gets fifty. Uh, it's close, but it doesn't. Get Watch there. almost fifty episodes of Hero trying to kill himself. Hell yeah, dude just really does not want to be there. Nope. Mission failed. I'm at the blow myself up. Yeah. I mean, it, sometimes like, it's not even mission down, failed. Hero. It's just like minor Calm inconvenience. Down. Jumps off a bridge. Yeah. It's like okay, <laughs> hero. Gundam. Why you gotta do this, hero? Why you gotta do this? The most unhero thing to do, hero. Yeah. But yep, that's straight, straight banger. Yeah. Uh, fucking yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm glad you had a third one. <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, because I I knew no one was gonna pick this one, so I was like, okay, I feel pretty confident here. Uh, it's another flow song, which is kind of weird that it's in the classics, yep. but. Um, I think it's probably the first I can think, at least the first one I think of that I'm like, this is where I know flow from is Days for Eureka Seven. Um, mm. Eureka Seven has a fairly unique uh, soundtrack and series of openings and stuff, but that one is really good, and they try to kind of emulate it on the OP they do for Eureka Seven AO. I think it's Brave Blue. Uh, not as good. It's still pretty good. I mean, it's a flow song, so it's going to be pretty decent. Uh, but Days is, like, the pinnacle of, like, mid-2000s setting up this kind of weird skate culture, upbeat, weird psychedelic show. And it does a really good job of it. Um, I've also unironically listened to that a bunch, so uh, really solid I'm sure there's like a shitload of other classics we're not thinking about. Um, but yeah, in those Cruel Angels thesis. Uh, Christ, I can't remember. What was the name of the two mix one? It's just communication. Just communication. I, I, how I forget that. Uh, days. Uh, I mean, honestly, there's multiple. Uh, there's a. I think it's White Reflections is another Gundam OP that's really good from Wing. Um, but yeah, I mean. A tank and Cruel Angel's thesis, you're really not going to top. Like, those are the yeah. ones that people who don't watch anime or at least are very casual in it will be like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. You're like, yeah, you do. 